while I've been here in Dubai, I've noticed like something. Uh, you see the guys with money. Those guys that uh, drive Lamborghinis here, Bugattis, the Rolls Royce. Most of them. Today, uh, I'm somewhere a bit different in a place called uh, Abu Bakr and I came here to do something uh, if you want to send goods to maybe different parts of uh, the world like uh, let's say Qatar or maybe Saudi let's say even your home country this is the place to come because there's so many warehouses here there's so many uh, shipping companies and uh, cargo companies over here this is the area actually if you want to like do all those kind of businesses so I'm heading back uh, to where I came from and uh, I'm done with my business here so I'll try to be vlogging every day you guys give me any ideas or maybe what you want to see uh, just tell me what you want to see here in Dubai uh, because I'm planning to go like uh, in different areas I noticed one thing when I came here it's like the airport is just uh, nearby here so I was saying like um, you guys give me any ideas of what you want to see here in Dubai but I'll try to bring you uh, the raw vibes of the street I want to go to Business Bay I want to go to all these areas around Dubai which uh, have like uh, many many activities and also I want to go up to Expo 2020 where there's a it, it is like a, a small mini city so I'll be going there so in front of me you can see a school bus and uh, back in Kenya we used to have uh, school buses like each school bus had their own a different color but uh, you know there was someone called uh, Matiangi who was the CS of uh, education who came up with this idea of uh, you know painting uh, the school buses yellow so I think this is like a universal rule because even if you go to the European countries like um, you know Britain or maybe America also paints their you know school buses yellow and uh, I think that is where the CS of Kenya of education got the inspiration from you can see here this is a scooter this is a paid scooter it's called Lime so if you want to use it you have to pay it but on the streets you're actually going to see a lot of people with um, those kind of scooters because uh, it is affordable and uh, it is a how do I say it convenient way of uh, traveling or maybe moving around Dubai because some places are very very far away so you have to have the scooter at least to ease uh, at least to ease the movement around because some people have problems you know walking for long distances you can see I don't know there's a Tesla passing over there you see most of them uh, here in Dubai you know Teslas are taxis here <laughs> Dubai will amaze you with everything I'm telling you when you come to Dubai everything will just amaze you I'm telling you so today I'm here at the, at the Dubai bus station the metro station and uh, I want to walk around just get to show you how this station looks like so this is how it looks like I want to walk around once I finish drinking this Pepsi and uh, we can go the other side where we can get to, to learn some history let me finish my Pepsi first and then you can roam around I was supposed to come here last time but I didn't have enough time you can see here uh, this is where I was telling you there's some uh, historical buildings and uh, I'm heading over there right now Here is the house of uh, Sheikh Khalifa bin Said Al Maktoum. Oh, it's free entry. So you can see here. I was wondering, man, it's free entry. So when you come around this place, it's just a free entry. So let me walk around and uh, see uh, what else I can find here. I was telling you guys, when you come to these streets, you'll see these uh, bikes uh, which you can pay and uh, use around the street and then 
I don't know how it operates because I've never used it. But one day I'm going to try it and see how. So this is the house of uh, Sheikh Al Maktoum. Okay. So one day I'm going to be using these bikes and uh, see how they operate. Anyways, uh, this place is so big. So when you walk, you go straight up to the other side. So this area uh, where I'm walking right now is basically just a uh, restaurants and uh, tourist. Oh. <laughs> These are basically just for display. It's not the, the ones which they used to go fishing because I know uh, fishing in the deep sea, sometimes the waves become too much. So this is just for display. Some small walkways. I don't know where this one leads to. So, uh, let me, let me, let me see here. From here you can see the map where you want to go so that you don't get lost uh, and uh, you can come and check this out this uh, signage here so that you can walk around and see uh, this area really really good this one here i think is the dubai creek the creek uh, if i'm not wrong and uh you're not allowed to fish here so when you come here uh, don't fish it may get you into some trouble man so no fishing and uh, this is where you can just walk and see um maybe you can come chill many restaurants are along this uh, walkway here so we're just going to be walking all the way to the other side and then uh, once you're done you can go explore some more places So I think this one are just a varieties of perfumes if I'm not wrong it's called the wood varieties man I'm telling you there's so many so this one here is uh, Al Maktoum residency but I'm seeing some old school there's a Land Rover over there uh, I'm seeing uh, mercedes-benz so if you want to tour this place actually i recommend you come here during the weekdays because today is on a friday and uh you can come here explore uh not too many people and actually this place is free so when you come here you can just walk around i'm not sure where this one leads to so i'm just going to be walking straight to this other side so yeah yes good good when you come to this uh, around these places there's some places which are free and uh, some places you have to have the ticket which is uh, I think around 50 dirhams or maybe 60 and uh, once you have that ticket you can access uh, some places because not everywhere is free here so uh, you are free to roam around here you are free to walk around but once you want to go inside uh, those uh, places there's some places you have to pay so have that in mind when you come around this area. But it is a nice place uh, for you to come and just uh, chill, take pictures, and uh, you know, for Instagram, some very nice uh, old setting here. And I like this kind of uh, you know setting because it takes me back in time, and uh, it's more chill. There's a big boat here uh, where you can come and uh, take good pictures here. So this one is just a depiction of how uh, maybe they, they used to be, to have uh, they used to use these boats just to go around. And uh, 
I'm not sure if I'm allowed to go. Let me just go because I'm not seeing any illustration. So uh, this boat, man, this thing is so huge. So I think this one is how they used to go maybe for deep fishing and uh, different things. So man, this thing is so huge. So this one here actually shows you how the right depiction of how uh, the Arabs back then used to go and uh, do fishing. So I think this one is just, I'm seeing someone holding something like a, a big luggage and uh, yeah. So maybe this one was um, a boat for transporting luggages, but I'm not sure. I'm just uh, uh, saying based on what I'm seeing here. So because this this um, statue here is uh, holding a big uh, box of uh, you know maybe a container or something and uh, I'm seeing other two guys trying to coordinate uh, the movement of these uh, boxes from here uh, to the boat so yeah that is the tour actually the small tour here I'm seeing some policemen so I don't know if they're going to stop me so if you want to come and uh, tour this area you can come here basically um, on the weekdays so on the weekdays it's not that uh, much there are not much people here and uh, that is the small tour here yeah so let me cut this short and uh, see you on the next one as I go and vlog somewhere else so see you in a few so today be, being a Sunday I'm going to show you something you know since morning it has been raining man since morning and uh, it was a bit cold today so I'm going to look for a jacket it has been raining since morning uh, from the time I woke up I woke up at around uh, 7 a.m. and uh, right now uh, checking the time uh, is 7 p.m. exact so uh, right now I'm on a mission to go and look for a jacket because Dubai right now is very cold by the way <laughs> For the people who are here right now in Dubai, right now it's February uh, 2024 recording this video. So yeah, man, I'm going to look for a half jacket right now at a place uh, known as uh, Deira. Uh, I'm on my way right now and I'm going to use uh, the metro. You know, I have like um, a leather jacket but I've not been, uh, you know, wearing it for, for quite some time because it's so warm and uh, you know, Dubai weather is not that, uh, how do I say it? It's not that uh, cold like each each time, each month. Like, uh, it is like a once in a while thing. So like majority of the time, uh, it is from, uh, actually the cold seasons is from, uh, I think November all the way up to around April. And uh, my first time, by the way, seeing like uh, rain, you know, pouring consistently from 7 a.m. up to now 7 p.m. so yeah I wish uh, I could show you how it looks like but I'll try to maybe uh, work tomorrow tomorrow is on a uh, Monday and uh, I saw the forecast here in um, Dubai they're saying that it's going to be raining uh, from Monday up to Tuesday so yeah maybe tomorrow I may get out uh, during the day when it rains uh, just to show you how the weather looks like here so yeah, anyways, uh, let me go uh, check this jacket out and uh, do some um, bit of some shopping and then um, tomorrow maybe early in the morning I may embark uh, on a different mission. This is the road, you can see some water man on uh, the road. So yeah, I'm just going to do like a basic shopping kind of. I wasn't planning to buy like a jacket or something like that. Uh, because basically I won't be needing that much here in Dubai uh, since right now we are heading to the summer you know like the hot seasons you know in the coming few months or maybe in the coming few weeks I've never done like a vlog at night and it's so windy today man I forgot to charge my my camera so I won't record much of you know the nightlife but I'm going to try so what you see here this is like a bus stop I think I, I, I've, I've shown you in some video. This is a bus stop 
if you want to go to maybe a different place you can come here so you can come here look uh, where you're going the roots and uh, here this is the you know the bus stop very very nice bus stop because they have AC so the air is very regulated in, inside if uh, maybe uh, it is very very hot outside you can go chill inside uh, for a few minutes or maybe a few seconds as you wait for your buses I'm telling you today is very very cold I've been here in Dubai for all those few months and uh, experiencing this uh, cold weather here man I'm telling you something else because most people think uh, that Dubai is very 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 hot like all seasons but in fact it is something a bit different so I just received this uh uh, notification right now on, uh, <coughs> on my phone I think uh, it's because of these heavy rains here right now it's about 6 a.m. in the morning yeah what's good everybody so today uh, I'm going to meet up with uh, a real estate agent here in Dubai you know since I came here in Dubai I found out that uh, real estate is one of the most growing industries here in Dubai and uh, I wanted to understand and maybe get to know why like you see if you walk around you're going to see a lot of uh, you know buildings and uh, a lot of uh, you know developers coming up here in Dubai and uh, the biggest ones are the Emar who actually own a lot of you know properties like luxury properties here in Dubai so I wanted to like to get the perspective of a real estate agent and uh, maybe he can tell us maybe why uh, there's so much you know like real estate companies here in Dubai and uh, real estate uh, business why is it so successful I'm on my way right now so stay tuned as uh, you know we are going to get to know uh, a little bit about him and uh, what he does here in Dubai so see you in a bit so today is on a Saturday and uh, I was planning to go up to Jumeirah but you know it's 30 degrees outside so and i was planning to walk maybe i may postpone up to maybe tomorrow tomorrow is on a sunday so tomorrow is a bit chill and i won't be doing too much uh, you know activities tomorrow so today i just want to do like uh, my regular walks and uh, see where my you know my legs are going to lead me to you know ever since i came here like i have seen a lot of things and uh I have like a lot of stories to tell like I know you guys have been asking me a lot of questions and uh, telling me to you know at least show you around and uh, say some things when I came here I was planning to vlog like each and every day but you see like things change and um, you know I had some mishaps here from memory card my computer lagging and uh, things like that like how do I say you see my computer also was misbehaving some in some way and uh, I was planning like to do everyday vlogs here so yeah give me some time then I can embark on my you know daily vlog like to be honest with you uh, number one thing is Dubai is very nice Dubai is really nice uh, it is a really really good place to stay by the way but it depends on a personal level uh, so I was supposed to go to Jumeirah and uh, I came here this is a park known as uh, Al Baba most people come here by the way most people come here to just have their weekend and uh, chill a bit so what do we do now i want to maybe walk around go to the dubai museum so i just want to go just see interact with some few people and see how the day is going to end anytime i pull this camera it attracts a lot of attention i don't know why especially if um, if i'm vlogging Anytime you're on the streets, just know you're being watched in Dubai. So don't do something which is not uh, appropriate uh, or maybe something which is not uh, allowed here. So I've been on this street for many times right now until I feel like, uh, you know, this street kind of knows me. Like, But I was thinking if I can walk all the way up to the Dubai Museum, uh, though right now it's closed, so I want to walk over there and uh, go all the way up to Al-Fahidi neighborhood just show you the street vibes today this street there's a lot of uh, you know phones there's a lot of cameras being sold here 
and uh, one thing I noticed is cameras are very cheap like in general electronics in Dubai are very cheap that is one thing you will notice when you come around this uh, street uh, it's called Al Fahidi Street so I think if you go straight uh, it will lead me to the Dubai Museum I'm trying to I'm trying to see where it will lead me to okay I'm going to purchase a new camera a GoPro I need a GoPro for the action because this camera which I'm using right now is more like a, a cinematic kind of a camera so I can't move uh, let's say if I want to turn the camera to the next person in front of me it will take me some few seconds you know it's not like GoPro so I need a GoPro and uh, I want the latest one so I want to purchase like a, I think a GoPro 11 to GoPro 12 and uh, to be honest it's very cheap it's very cheap here so very very cheap wow. fine, fine. yes how are you fine 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 good good uh, so i want to purchase like uh, something which can be used in a uh, you know rapid movements you Hi, brother. hey how, how are you? you i'm fine i'm fine brother you good good thank you thank you yeah, yeah. so like uh, i want i want something which you see like, like right now I just met this uh, random guy and uh, I was shaking his hand so you can't see that because I have to like twist the camera then turn and you, you see things like that I, I don't know if you get me like uh, some reactions require like rapid turn you know turning of the camera so like I have to turn it very rapid you see so that I can get uh, the clear the clear reaction of let's say the person I'm greeting or maybe the person I'm interacting with like it has to be rapid and sometimes this uh, camera doesn't allow that you see like I have to turn it and then again it will take some time and uh, yeah it won't capture the clear picture or file like I want it to be you see so I can say like sometimes uh, the GoPros are a bit uh, handy when it comes to the actions like interactions with the groups uh, around the streets man i'm going to come here next time so you see some mustang on the street so like i'm going to come here next time and uh purchase a new action camera so here you can see the dubai museum it is closed right now so you can't go in and uh if you want to come here you just come straight from the al Gubeba station and uh, you can take a walk straight uh, to this you know area where i am going right now so when you go straight this other side this is uh al fahidi neighborhood i say so you see this area here in front of me this is the al fahidi historical neighborhood so if you want to uh, get to see uh, things about you know history about dubai this is the area so this area as you go straight uh, i think this is the area which most people call uh, bad dubai and uh, you're going to find like a lot of you know uh, barber shops here uh, supermarkets like shops so yeah good afternoon everybody so today I'm here in a place known as uh, Dubai Internet City and uh, I'm going to do some errands in a few and uh, then I can vlog around here uh, yeah so let me go and uh, finish my errands first and then uh, we can embark on the vlog a bit and uh, just get to see how this area looks like so yeah let me go finish my errands and uh, see you in a bit So I'm done with my errands uh, from uh, Dubai Media City and uh, I was going to like do something by the way so I'm done with my errands and uh, I was at this office where they have like uh, services for financial advisory things like that and uh, you know while I've been here in Dubai I've noticed like something uh, you see the guys with money 
those guys that uh, drive Lamborghinis here, Bugattis, the Rolls Royce, most of them don't use uh, you know the regular earpods. Like what I noticed, most of them use wired earphones. I don't know why. So if any of you know the reason why, you can let me know in the comment section below because that is something which I've noticed not once, not twice. Like many of them, since I've been walking around for quite some time, and I noticed this thing. So maybe you can let me know and uh, I know the reason why because it's not one guy. I've seen several of them like uh, everywhere I've gone like maybe two, three, it depends. So you can let me know in the comment section below. So this is uh, Dubai Media City. Let me go back and uh, see you on the next one.